بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو پیپل آر فائن اینڈ ہیڈ اے گڈ عید آئی ایم سائما تنولی بیک ود دا لیکچر نمبر الیون فار سوکس ٹوڈے وی ول بی ڈوئنگ دا تھرڈ کانسٹیٹیوشن دیٹ از دا فائنل کانسٹیٹیوشن آف نائنٹین سیونٹی تھری اینڈ دس از آن پیج In my previous lecture, I have told you about the drawbacks and the causes which led to the failure of 1962 Second Constitution. Today we will be doing uh, the background first for the Constitution of 1973. The present Constitution of Pakistan was framed by the Constituent Assembly on April 7, 1972. The National Assembly formed a committee. to restart the national constitution uh, constitutional development process and draft a permanent constitution for the country martial law uh, was lifted on april 21st the assembly passed an interim constitution bill and ad- adjourned thereafter the constitution bill was first moved in the assembly in 1973 bill was adopted unanimously by 135 voted in favor and only 3 abstained since the upper house senate was yet to be composed so the enforcement of the constitution was delayed for some time the constitution was promulgated on august 14 1973 on the 26th celebration of national independence the salient features of the constitution are preamble sovereignty of allah the constitution has a preamble which states that sovereignty over the entire universe belongs to allah almighty alone and the authority to be exercised by the people of pakistan within the limits prescribed by him is a sacred trust that whosoever will be uh, ruling the state or will be the head of the state he will be considered as a, a interpreter of allah uh, and at the same time he will be uh, uh, we can say uh, guardian of the constitution democratic state the state shall exercise its powers and authority through the chosen representatives of the people that is the person who is elected by the ambai and amongst the people the principle of democracy freedom equality tolerance and social justice as expressed by islam shall be fully observed islamic injunctions that is the muslims shall be enabled to order their lives in accordance with the teachings and requirements of islam as set out in the holy quran and sunnah no law shall be enacted which is repugnant that is against to ins- injunctions of islam or to the spirit of islam protection of minorities in trust the protection of minorities in trust shall be ensured aqliyaton ka khayal kiya jayega adequate provision shall be made for them freely to profess and practice their religion and develop their culture independence of the judiciary that is fully secured second is federal constitution according to the constitution pakistan is a federal republic it consists of islamabad capital territory four provinces west punjab sindh NWFP today's KPK and Balochistan and the federally administered tribal areas that is FATA the present constitution of Pakistan also deals with the division of central and provincial subjects as i have told you in the previous lectures we have the federal list of uh, subjects and duties and the provincial that is the concurrent uh, subject and duties 
Two separate lists have been included in the fourth schedule of the constitution. Federal list which consists of 67 subjects and concurrent list which consists of 47 subjects. On the federal subjects only the national assembly and the senate are having the authority to make laws. You have Wafaki subjects and pressure of aapki national assembly ko ye haisiyat di gayi hai ke wo laws bana sakte hain. A bill can become a law only when it is passed by both the houses that is the upper house the senate and the lower house that is your national assembly. Jo bicameral unko ek characteristic deta hai by a majority of votes with the agreement of the president. Provinces enjoy maximum autonomy and central government does not interfere in the provincial affairs unless any law is against the federal law or the spirit of Islam. Koi law agar federal law ke against hoga provincial government ka in that case uh, the uh, central government will interfere otherwise it will not. Third head it's a written constitution. Maine aapko bataya tha England ki unwritten constitution hai. Like the foregoing constitutions that is the previous of 1956 and 62 the existing constitution is also a written document comprising of 280 articles, 12 parts, 6 schedules and a preamble. Amendment in the constitution. The constitution of 1973 is rigid in nature that is it is difficult to make any change in that or to bring any change in that article 238 and 239 tell the method of amendment kaise koi tabdili ya koi uh, change lai ja sakti hai uh, the conditions to change this constitution are quite difficult and require two third of the majority in the lower house that is the national assembly to pass a bill concerning the amendment of the constitution Afterwards, if the bill also passes by a majority in the upper house, that is the Senate, it shall have to attain the assent of the president, then it will be amended. So it makes it quite difficult and in this way it is also we can say a rigid in nature. Parliamentary and form of government. Parliamentary form of government has been established in the country as we are having the prime minister to be the chief executive of central government and elected uh, from the majority party. He is responsible before the parliament that is both the national assembly and the senate. President is a figurehead. Islam to be the state, state religion. This is the first time that in the 1973 constitution it was considered that it should be mentioned that Islam is the state religion. Islamic ideology is the foundation for the constitution of 1973. Article 2 of the constitution clearly announces that Islam shall be the religion of Pakistan. Article 2a makes the objectives resolution as a part of the constitution. So the objectives resolution was incorporated in this constitution. This is the first constitution which has declared Islam as the state religion. The two foregoing constitution of 1956 and 62 are devoid of this. They did not mention that. Fundamental rights. The constitution provides a list of fundamental your basic rights which have been conferred to the citizens of Pakistan such as the fundamental rights include right to life liberty and property, freedom of movement, speech, association, trade and pro, uh, profession, freedom from arrest, detention, equality of citizens and preservation of language, script and culture etc. It is also expressed that the laws contradictory to the fundamental rights will be declared ineffective. Contradictory means which are opposite to this uh, fundamental rights those la laws will be uh, considered as ineffective no fundamental rights can be withdrawn through any unconstitutional means or hum koi or aise fundamental rights 
विड्रॉ नहीं कर सकते थ्रू एनी काइंड ऑफ अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल मीन्स दैट शुड बी डन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली सो वी हैव ऑल दीज राइट्स विच आर अवर बेसिक राइट्स जिनमें वी हैव दिस राइट ऑफ लाइफ विच इज़ अवर नेचुरल राइट दैन वी हैव राइट ऑफ लिबर्टी फ्रीडम एज एवरी वन इज़ बॉर्न फ्री एंड प्रॉपर्टी एंड फ्रीडम ऑफ मूवमेंट एंड रिलीजन एंड इकनॉमिक्स दैट इज़ वी कैन मेनटेन अ प्रोफेशन एंड गो फॉर हैविंग अ प्रॉपर्टी एंड ऑल दैट then we have bicameral legislature the present constitution of pakistan has for the first time adopted bicameralism that is uh, having two houses or two chambers according to the constitution of 1973 the parliament is consisted of two houses to be known as the senate your upper house and the national assembly that is the lower house principles of policy the constitution also deals with the principle of policy they are for guiding the nation and to follow those is government's most important duty they declare that all possible steps would be taken to enable the muslims to lead their life in accordance with the islamic injunctions for which we have achieved the state of pakistan that is what we uh, wanted uh, for ourselves independence of judiciary the constitution guarantees that the judiciary shall be independent from executive within 3 years aapki adliya jo hai wo azad hai on federal level there is a supreme court there is a high court for each province and is a progression of district and civil and criminal courts judges of the supreme court and the high court obtained by the president cannot be removed by him so uh, all those uh, judges of the supreme court and the high court which are appointed by the president they cannot be uh, removed uh, they have they will be uh, completing their tenure once they are appointed single citizenship like the constitution of canada the system of single citizenship has been introduced in pakistan the pakistanis will have only the pakistani citizenship and not side by side with its provincial citizenship so we will be having one citizenship not dual that is two direct elections unlike the constitution of 1962 in which indirect system of election was provided in which uh, ayub khan uh, appointed the bd members as electoral college the constitution of 1973 provides a direct method of election all pakistanis who have reached the age of 18 previously it was 21 later on it became 18 can elect the members of national assembly and the provincial assemblies directly without any intermediary body that is through adult franchise next right of minorities the constitution ensures that the state shall endeavor to provide the minorities equal status and position with other citizens they are able to enjoy their religion their culture they can promote their culture their language and everything but as long as they are not endangering the sanctity of the state of pakistan in that case they can be stopped or checked last is language urdu has been declared as the national language of pakistan that is the lingua franca and people readily accepted this language as this language did not belong to any particular or specific province to which people have felt as uh, 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 biasism or anything that if we have taken punjabi or pashto or any other language then the people might have objected to this idea that this belongs to a particular uh, group of people or to a particular province so uh, urdu was readily and happily accepted as the national language of pakistan uh, this is all for today uh, please uh, learn the uh, salient features 
and uh, inshallah the islamic provisions of 1973 we will be doing by uh, by the end of this chapter and uh, keep on learning the salient features of the constitution uh, after the end of uh, this chapter uh, i will be giving you a test for chapter number 1 as well uh, thank you very much and have a nice day